Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell announced another pause in, raise, in raising interest rates yesterday. The Fed has raised rates 11 times since March of last year in an effort to bring down inflation. The move worked so far, with the inflation rate falling to less than half of its peak in June of 2022, but it still remains high. So joining us now to discuss is David Wenzel. Wessel, rather, he is a director of the Hutchins Center and Fiscal and Monetary on Fiscal and Monetary Policy at Brookings. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Good morning. So, so why did the Fed decide to leave interest rates unchanged? The Fed uh, has raised interest rates more than five percentage points in a little over a year. That's a very large increase, very fast. And they think they've done enough for now because the rate of inflation has been coming down. They didn't promise not to raise rates again. In fact, Federal Reserve Chair Jay Powell was very cautious. Reporters kept asking him yesterday, so you think you're gonna raise in December or you think you're not gonna raise in December? And he was really trying to not send a signal. So they're in a wait and see mode now. So as we mentioned, you know, inflation has come down, but it's still almost uh, two percentage points higher than the target rate, which is 2%. And I know people have kind of floated the idea of maybe 2% doesn't have to be the target. Maybe we're doing okay. But I know that the focus is 2%. So how long do we expect, uh, how long do we sort of expect things to stay the way they are? Well, I think the Fed is committed for now to keeping the target at 2% because they want to reassure people that they're still on track. Mm -hmm. But they seem to be a little bit patient about how long it'll take to get there. I think it'll be at least another year before we see steady uh, numbers of in the 2% range. Uh, it's really hard to say. It depends a lot on what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. One thing that mm -hmm. people have a hard time understanding, though, is what they're talking about is prices rising at a slower pace. They're not, for most things, talking about prices coming down. And that's been a real confusion among many consumers, I think. Yeah, I'm actually glad that you clarify that. Um, yes, we are still seeing inflation, but not as rapidly as we were seeing it uh, before. Um, so looking ahead, uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, he, as you mentioned, he offered some insight into how the central bank may be proceeding in December. What is the, is the thinking that if we do see a hike, that maybe it may be lower than what we've seen before, because he's certainly done that. But what's the speculation out, out there like? I think I think there's a lot of speculation that the Fed is pretty much done. It just doesn't want to promise that it's done mm. uh, because it doesn't want to lock itself in. What, um, there are a couple of things going on. One is the economy has been very resilient. It's a surprise that the Fed has managed to bring down inflation with unemployment remaining very low. And the second thing is that the bond market, where interest rates on longer term debt are set, rates that matter to people who have mortgages or businesses that are borrowing have shot up recently for reasons that are not completely clear. And the Fed is basically saying that's doing some of our job for this. Mm -hmm. Fed Chair Powell said yesterday, if interest rates in the bond market, which have taken mortgage rates up to 8%, if that persists, then we don't really need to do more on our end. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, if it comes down, they might feel need to do more. So the bond market is doing some of the Fed's work for it, in short. So you mentioned, you know, looking forward, it, think it all depend on a number of different factors, including one of the things you mentioned is what's happening in the world. What are some of sort of the possible X factors that could pop up that might have an impact on the Fed's decision moving forward? That's a good question. Uh, Fed chairs always like to say that there's a lot of uncertainty. I started covering the Fed when Alan Greenspan was the chairman, and he it was always uncertain. I'm waiting for the Fed chair to come out and say one day, well, we're certain. But there are a lot of things going on in the world. Uh, Jay Powell talked yesterday about amid the bloodshed in the Middle East and Gaza and Israel, there's concern that if the war spreads, oil prices can go up. That would both boost inflation and it would slow the world economy. Um, even though the Fed has raised interest rates a lot, and now the bond market has raised interest rates a lot, there hasn't been a lot of turmoil in the financial markets or among banks and other financial institutions. If that happens, that could lead the Fed to slow down. But I think the most important thing to them is what's happening to the rate of inflation. If it comes down gently, they're going to be happy. But if the economy remains strong and inflation stops falling, as you pointed out, they're still above their 2% target, then they may feel that they need to do more rate hikes in order to accomplish their goal of price stability, 2% inflation. All right. Well, fingers crossed for a soft landing. Uh, David Wessel, thank you very much. You're welcome.